Hey, welcome back to another episode of Talking Chaos. I am the Condor, of course. Who else would be here? This is absurd. I do this intro like all the time. I find it absurd at this point because, like, people who did the dedicated listeners, they know who I am, they understand. And they also know who's with me tonight. Tonight, I have Warlock Fred. Hey, guys. How's it going? Okay. So, your wife had a very absurd idea mm. that I have some serious holes to poke with immediately. But oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, okay. Ursula's idea was <laughs> that genitalia should have Yelp reviews. Well, Dick should, ha- Dick should have Yelp reviews and... Vagina should have vag facts. <laughs> <laughs> I was hitting a cigarette and I think I swallowed smoke. Um, <laughs> but the problem is, is that like, what are you going to have like asshole reviews too? Or what about like, what about weird asshole people? reviews? Yeah. Like it was tight, but Brown, I don't know what people would say, but, uh, what about freaks who like don't like genitalia? Are you gonna rate like their mouth or their, their ear? Their mouth or their feet? Yes. Like, like those a are the armpit. other fetishes that we have here. Like I mean, no, dude. Oh, there's way armpit. more than that. Oh, there's so many more. I, I'm certain there are ven- this, very many more. <laughs> I can't imagine like the the crazy ass reviews for other strange body parts. It would end up like Amazon reviews. Some people would just do it to troll people. Like, yeah, this girl, this one roll of back fat behind on the left side. Don't do the right <laughs> side. <laughs> it's, See, it it was so Amazon, sweet. But at least with Amazon, they have like a verified purchaser. <laughs> I, I don't think that would make this situation better. Why not? <laughs> like, I mean, you could, at least allow, you could at least allow the woman to be able to say, yeah, that was a verified bang. That's... Be, are, are you concerned about customer complaints? Is that I why think, you're scared about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to call customer service. I have some questions. <laughs> <laughs> about your own dick? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably cheaper than talking to a doctor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so what you said badge facts. What would be the name of the dick review site? The dick review site? Oh, I don't know. That that's a good question. Like, I, what would what do you got? I don't know. Dicks on Dick, parade. Dicks on parade. It's just <laughs> something that I literally like. My brain went there. That was immediately. I hadn't given that more thought than it took to form the sentence. Frankly, <laughs> but like, should call Tinder do fucking, reviews? Ooh, like call it the Nut Hut. <laughs> You're welcome for that one. <laughs> that sounds way more like some fucked up bunny ranch somewhere. We're like, <laughs> or like a gay strip club. The Nut Hut. <laughs> Trademark pending. <laughs> I don't want, you can have that. That's all yours. I'm not saying, <laughs> that is not the show's. That is yours, sir. Um, so, so should Tinder have like reviews afterwards? <laughs> I, I'm asking you. You're the one whose wife came up with dick reviews. I mean, she also gave me vag facts too. Like, apparently, that was a different idea. That That's, some that, that, that was, was somebody hers? else. No, somebody else's. She'll she'll admit that one. Oh, but, okay. So she stole that from somebody else. Th- yeah. Instead of it being, you know, the vagina monologue. I went to that. Oh yeah. With my mom and my sister. And I was 16. More interesting. And I took, you remember Jared? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I asked him if he wanted to go. I don't think he understood what it was. <laughs> the most awkward part of it was when uh, I've, got, I've got my mom on one side of me, Jared on the other. I'm in a theater full of women. And there's a lady on stage reading from a book about how a guy somebody met a while ago liked to stare into vaginas. <laughs> that was, was his got- thing. 
was his day job like gynecologist because that's the no only no that would make sense the way that this was written it was like i met a guy and he liked to look at it and the way that he looked at it made me feel beautiful and like it was the strangest shit. <laughs> Sixteen years old, see. I had never been laid yet. I'm pretty certain Jared just started fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Not like me. <laughs> um, but it was fucking absurd, man. I I loved it. I thought it was an eye opening experience, and I'm I'm a better feminist for it. Mm. But it was fucking weird. Like, I advise every dude to go to this, but at the same time, like, in my head immediately when I left, I was like, why isn't there, like, uh, the dick diaries? <laughs> the vagina monologues, so the dick yeah, yeah. diaries. Well, it would be full of sentences like, yeah, that hoe was hot. End of story. <laughs> it wouldn't be these descriptions of how beautiful we felt as men after slaying that tang. <laughs> it would be these saw hot girl at bar. Saw hot girl at bar went home and masturbated. Right. Or like, <laughs> I hooked up Saturday. I can't remember her name. <laughs> she gave me her number. But I didn't care enough to remember to pull it out of my jeans, and now it's, like, ruined. <laughs> <laughs> like, those are the dig diaries. <laughs> Do you have any, like, okay, back to reviews for a second. Have you ever been with some one-star shit? Um. Ah. Uh, like, that what I, I would review as a one-star? Yeah. Yes. No shit. Yeah, unfortunately, like I, I, on my behalf, I'm more considered it a pity fuck than anything else. But apparently, it was something much better for her. Oh, I mean, generally, pity fucks are always better for the people that you have the pity on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I've definitely been with multiple one stars. Um. <laughs> no harm in saying that i'm a bird like this, I mean, you, do, you do what you do <laughs> so, well one of the things that i had to ask was you, you i believe we've actually mentioned this in a previous episode you paid for intercourse did do you um, feel like you needed to leave a customer satisfaction in it like, inadvertently inadvertently like yeah what do you mean inadvertently you know, like when a girl calls you up and she's like, hey, I need a new radiator. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> girl I'll called be honest you up and said, you. I need a new radiator. And you were like, oh yeah, cool. I, I That's got you. never happened to me, but I stole <laughs> that from David Spade because he was asked the same question live on television. And his answer was like, <laughs> Yeah, like inadvertently. <laughs> so what no, you're like, saying is you're stealing somebody else's joke to avoid talking about the prostitutes you paid for. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's accurate as fuck, but you're not willing to admit. I'm not gonna confirm or deny that statement. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so reviews. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, but there are places online where you can give escorts reviews and you can find reviews of other men. Some are tasteful, some are not. Um, but it also allows part of the community. I've done some really dark digging on the internet. It's so much fun. You, you, apparently, you've done some quite some scouring of the internet if you oh, have dude. found these type of... I've found all kinds <laughs> of stuff. There's a lot of places where you can do some really heinous shit on the internet. And... Uh, Sometimes it's that. really fun to fuck with people that are up to <laughs> no good. Um, but yeah, there there's reviews for just about anything. And I've never heard of like the ba batch facts or uh, dick, dick review site. Like what did like, we decide to call it? I don't know. Dick diaries. Well, no, because dick, dick diaries. diaries your... No, but that still fits. Like it's yeah. still, it's what really good idea. The dick di like the dick Yelp.
we got nothing. <laughs> Personally clammed up. Uh, that's a little mermaid joke at the same time. But I'm... <laughs> it's terrible. Um, yeah, it's okay. I mean, she's she's afraid to come on the air sometimes, and it's all right. We understand. <clears throat> um, but she's here with us, and we support her. Um, Penile posting. The uh... <laughs> Tallywhack. Oh God, Tallywhacker tribu- Tribune. <laughs> <laughs> the Tallywhacker Tribune. Holy shit! Oh, that's that's uh. From the peanut gallery, we appreciate it. Uh, Cock Chronicles. These are all. These all sound like really <laughs> fucked up newspapers, though. They, like, they do, but like in other news, like, <laughs> they solid like replacements for the vagina monologues, like that. Richard Johnson has won the recent election, and the Tally <laughs> Tallywacker <laughs> Press or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Tallywacker Tribune. Yeah, that's the one. Oh <laughs> uh, fuck, that's ridiculous. Um, You're welcome. What about five star? Have you ever been with some five star shit? So I'm gonna be honest with you. My wife is my five star, and they're literally. No, 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 no. I'm not no, even. No. That's not cool. It's not, but literally the five star I've had. Um, <laughs> given the look but, that you're giving me right now, I'm completely okay with that answer. Suddenly, um, but um, like there are nights where I'll be like. Look, I need you to not bring your A-game pussy tonight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know you were taking a hit of your ball at the exact same time, but fuck that. Followed more smoke. <laughs> Different smoke. Oh, yeah, that was... What if, is there a reason why? Why do you say that? Is it just because, like, I, I want this to... I want to savor this <laughs> kind of like a nice steak, like <laughs> throw some garlic up in there, throw my, throw my eyes off or something. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I say that is because like th- th- there are times where like there are like, so I firmly believe, or at least like the, my mentality is that there are different types of vaginas that a woman can bring. Like there's like, <laughs> along with that different amount of effort. I've been doing kegels, that. sweetheart. This shit's getting good. <laughs> you will not. I understand that most men think that's just bullshit. It's true. I'm not saying it's not. It's just hilarious. Oh, it is. We can't get away from the fact that, like, that's hilarious. <laughs> the idea, the premise, the jokes behind, they're all great. I've never heard anybody get upset because of kegel jokes. It's <laughs> ne- doesn't happen. Kegel, Kegel, whatever. Harvey Keitel, Keitel. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're trying. I don't know what you're going. I've been that. doing my Harvey Keitel exercises, and my vagina feels good. <laughs> what? I just wanted to say something that didn't make any sense. Hmm. Sure, you did. Um. Okay, so would you include assholes into the genital rating process? And there, would mean, there be additional add-ons like uh, fetish <laughs> ratings? So, like, I was with this girl's ear, and it was really nice and flexible. <laughs> say, are you meaning like levels of BDSM, or are you going like weird? Like, you went with ear, and I was like, whoa, that's that's weird. Because you're just like it's holes, man. Like, do you do mouths too? I mean, do I? I I know that question came out strangely, but I'm more concerned about the pitch in your voice just now. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) You're welcome for that. Um, I don't know simply because, like, I've never been with somebody who had, like, you know, meth mouth or anything, like, no teeth to go at all. (laughs) Like, it's just they're gumming you the whole fucking way. (laughs) That also means that you don't know what that's like, so don't hate okay (laughs) i do know i do i do realize that that's how that sounded (laughs) i'm just advocating here you're advocating interesting um no you you mentioned asshole reviews and i feel like there should actually be asshole reviews for the gay men out there because not everybody's straight (sighs) that's it's probably true but if that's the case, like, I want mouths on there. Yep. 
so you want mouths interesting what like if there's yeah like I don't, that's, i'm just saying um but yeah i don't i don't know that would be an interesting thing like yo what's your dick rating <laughs> What's your what's your fucking ID so I can look up your dick online? Should they Find should out. they create an Uber specifically for Tinder? Fuck yeah. Like Tuber. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Tang. <laughs> tang. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get a ride from Tang earlier. Oh, you gonna go hook up? Hell yeah. <laughs> Just so, like, girls can be like, yeah, I got my dick appointment. He's coming real quick. I need you guys to get the fuck out. Right. Yeah, my dick (laughs) appointment. I'll be honest with you. The the more and more we talk about this, I feel like this is... Ridiculous. It's like we're advocating prostitution. Um, Not not at all. Like, I I am absolutely advocating for consensual sex among adults. Exchanges exchanges, Exchanges of goods or services is not part of the realm that we are discussing. (laughs) <laughs> we do not have our business degrees only our degrees in slay and pussy <laughs> i bet i take all that back that's not true um at least on his behalf behalf <laughs> yeah this this show has gone awry we're off the rails right now um this isn't that is, kind of the point i it's it's i don't know it, it's <laughs> something we're we're the train is still moving. We just don't know where the fuck we're headed. And I see mountains. <laughs> um, the Thunderdome is ahead. You, you see a tunnel? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what would be even more fucked up? Is like mm. if this website did well, it'd be like days before fucking like Facebook or YouTube just wanted to buy it. We just want to buy all the dicks now. Pornhub. Pornhub would absolutely sponsor this motherfucker. Somebody had a an idea about um, getting a, a bunch of farmers together and having a website and call it Corn Hub. I think I believe there's actually one called like Farmer Meat Farmers Meat dot com or something like that. I've actually believe I've seen in a, in a commercial for it like late night TV. Is this like another dating site? Like yeah, it's like meat? similar to like Black People Meat or uh, like you know Plenty of Fish or like you know. Christian Mingle, like all those type of like I know that I've dropped like three different types of places. He he's never heard of the like farmers meetup or whatever. Right. What's Do the, you know where you're living at the moment? Like you're surrounded by fucking cornfields. I know, but I, I try to <laughs> pretend like I'm in Chicago most of the time. Um, <laughs> there's one for Jews, isn't there? That that I don't know specifically. I, I think there is, and then um. I like what do you what do you go if you're just like a a vegan underwater basket weaver? A vegan underwater under. <laughs> I, th- underwater I, would, I bas- assume you would go into like hipstersmeetup.com or some. Sh- <laughs> I hate everything. dot org. I hate everything dating. That'd be cool. I eat ice. dot com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Um. Yeah, this is just terrifying more than anything. Like, I don't. What You're would worried your, about customer complaints. I got it. What would your dick rating be? What would you oh, give your dick? Hold on one second. What would my dick rating be? Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, I'm not. We'll get that to in a second. What do you think your dick would be first? What, what do I think my dick rating would be? I think yeah, be... out of five stars, out of five out of, dicks, out of five, stars, out of five, out of five dicks. dicks, okay, out, out of, of five dicks. dicks. All right, that <laughs> we're not doing the ten scale. We we're cutting it down to fine, five. fine. I feel like we're men. Be it's got to be yeah. It's got to be more. So like, <laughs> how many dicks out of ten dicks? How many dicks out of ten dicks? Yeah, I, I would say probably a solid seven or eight. Okay. All right. Now, now ask her. Okay. Now, out out of ten, how would you rate my dick? High eight or nine. Okay. All right. I I disagree with all of that, but I haven't seen it. I I think you're both <laughs> full of shit. But that's he, fine. He thinks we're both full of shit. I'm giving minus. If six. you want to jump on here, you're more than welcome to. 
I'm giving me a six. You're, you're giving yourself a six. All right. I mean, yep. good for you. Commendable, above average. <laughs> I, uh, like, even then, I think I'm adding more points than I should just for appearance <laughs> sake. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, you, uh, but we're going completely off of your <laughs> basis and not off anyone else's or like any right, but customer that's, complaints. That's another question, isn't it? What criteria would you be able to, like, would there be? Would it be like out of a hundred and you have like four different categories? So it's like personality, <laughs> look. <laughs> like personality, look, girth, wit right. length. <laughs> right. Action. <laughs> that would be like how do you performance. Yeah. Did you use it to the best of your ability? Or like what you did you underperform like shit? Did you just like we're gonna play like the tiger <laughs> in the off season? <laughs> Like, no, I don't care. Or was it like, yeah, yeah. And what's what are the other categories? Like, um, yeah, for sure, like curviness. Curviness. Know about like any... Uh, Is blemishes. it a skew? Right. <laughs> STDs. Yeah, that's, I would say blemishes because that's one of those things where <laughs> like you're, you're going off of what another person says. True, um, true. I mean, you know, you're just uh, putting your trust in another human being. And I agree, and I believe that's entirely wrong. Like, I, I feel like somebody should be like, yeah, no, here's like my doctor's report of like, like here's my report card from my doctor of my, my shit's clean. I think if we start these dick reviews and you show up with any blemishes on your review, that's what you'll <laughs> have to bring. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, it's not true what they're saying to me. No, it, just, it just looks a little funky. It's all good. Right. That's a that's a mole. <laughs> that's a mole. <laughs> I've never heard of getting moles on your dick. Could you get moles on your dick? Uh, I. Do you have a mole to... on your dick? <laughs> Hold on a sec. No, I don't want to see it. Put it away. <laughs> it's not okay. I don't like where this came from. Um. I don't know. Viewers out there, listeners. If you can tell me one way or the other, if you've ever seen a mole on a dick, I don't, I don't want to see the dick. I just merely want to know if there was a mole on it. Once, <laughs> maybe it was removed. Maybe it was cancerous. Obviously, that would have been a very, very tricky situation. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. If it's me and I have to pick between having somebody take something off my dick or dying of cancer, I might have a couple of weeks to iron that <laughs> decision out. <laughs> but right now, I'm not under threat of uh, dick cancer, luckily. But it's got to exist, testicular right? Testicular cancer, yeah, those type yeah, of things. Ball cancer for sure happens. The yeah. Lance Armstrong is like more aerodynamic now for the sa- for <laughs> more aerodynamic and steroided. Yeah. So um, we'll be back. Uh, in the full bush version of this episode. If you enjoyed listening to it, check us out there. And we want to thank the patrons always. You guys are the reason we keep doing this show. Um, If you want to be a patron, go to patreon.com slash talking chaos and sign up for the full bush to hear about what we have to say on dick diaries or whatever the fuck the dick review genital site is with the mouths and the assholes. Tallywhacker Tribune. (laughs) 